gonna fire up the wood stove. I keep it going like from morning all the way up until before we go to bed till say 11 o'clock at night or so. But uh, we could let it go or keep it wooden when we get up or something. But uh, so I got pine cone here from my wood lot. So I use it as a fire starter. Some old wood here, old wood here, uh, bark going all the way across like a bridge. This is heat treated, it kind of goes in, then goes out, so it's a little bigger on the other end. Got a bunch of wood chips from my, uh, my carving. This, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small. Throw that in there. But uh, we'll save all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna light that. And sometimes I'll put a little paper here too, but uh, good size pine cone there. Dog's got it, this thing here in the wood box. But it's a fire it up here, fire it up Friday. But I'll uh, get this going. This is white pine cones from white pine tree, pine strobes. But uh, I'll get this going. Yeah, and uh, get a little more air. There we go. But uh, yeah, I mean, I used to put some logs across or compressed wood across or even more, you know, actually more of these. But I don't have to, I got a nice thick piece of bark there. So I use that and uh, Get this going. Close this up. At the mount, this is a Travis Industries uh, Avaline uh, Regency 90, I think they call it. Stuff I've had this for, geez, a long time, 18 years maybe. And then when I bought it, there's a kid down there. He he did all this on here with the deer and the mountains and stuff like that. So at Dean Stove. But um, yeah, this will get going good. And uh, I'm hold out and then I just add more wood. And uh, it's not a problem. I got water in here all the time in my uh, my little pot up there. You can't see it. Let's raise this up a little bit. Yeah, so I got a little, little pot here, a little fan here once it gets hot. But uh, oh, here we go. dogs are hounding me literally because it's time to eat for them so there you go one nice dry pine cone and uh gets that going good and it'll get going they get bigger and bigger so let's see what happens here so the stove's going really good right now so let me show you I'm going to put my, it's an Irish teapot, and I got my David's, I put it in the loose tea in my, the bags myself, it's David's Earl Grey Lavender, <coughs> excuse me, tea, <coughs> and I put it on the stove, and I keep it there all day, so if I want a cup of tea, I'm going to put it near the pipe back there, I got my tea anytime I want, but right now in the morning, I'm going to have my coffee and in here i've done this before you just move the coals to one side or whatever once it's all heated up i've cooked irish soda bread in there too so 
uh, don't mind me with the hands it's a big thing now but uh anyways um yeah so that'll go like that and i'll just put some more bigger pieces in there <clears throat> about 22 degrees in the back not a lot, ton of rain this winter not a lot of snow uh the ice is not like i like it um i like it to be a lot thicker crazy but uh I like the cold weather, but uh, yeah, this is kind of a fired up Friday. And uh, yeah, and if you ever want to clean this, you just get a paper towel, damp paper towel, rub some of the ashes on it and just clean this right up. You don't need it, don't have to buy anything and it cleans all this right up. But when the fire is hot, it burns it off anyway, so. But uh, that's what's going on here. And uh, <clears throat> dogs are doing something there but uh, yeah a few chores to do them carving and all that stuff you know and then use the chips to start the fire you know I mean you, I could start it from any way you want but uh, that's what I usually do it's a lot easier so we'll take care of this uh... <clears throat> that's Carrigo Foil Castle right there the O'Connor Castle my mother's castle. Actually, I was right up there one time. I was uh, having a little drink there. And I signed in. I said, this, this is my castle. Um, then I said, mother's castle. So people walked up. They looked up. They seen this guy up there. Must have fallen on hard times having a little, you know, something there. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple of coins I put in there, too. Over in Ireland. And uh, Belly and Longford. Rasheen. They're... Carrig Island is right across the way over there. Ancient. But uh, yeah, so uh, here we go, man. Fired up Friday, man. Take care.